Right, in this video I'm going to look at another titration question, a question 1, and I'm going to look at the calculation part again, which is part E um, from question 1 in 2009. So this is looking at orange tablets, um, and it's the most recent example of the orange tablets question. And um, you can see I've written down the equation there, balance equation 5FE2+, plus, which is from our iron tablet, plus MnO4 minus, which is the potassium permanganate, plus 8H+, plus, which is from the acid, and that gives us 5FE3+, plus, plus Mn2+, plus, plus 4H2O. So we're really only interested in these two. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to work out the question Question 1e says, on average, 18.75 centimeters cubed of 0 0.01 molar potassium permanganate was required to react with 25 centimeters cubed portions of the iron solution prepared from the five tablets. And then it says, calculate the molarity of the Fe2 plus solution, the total mass of iron in the 250 centimeters cubed of solution, and the percentage by mass of iron in the tablets. So like all the other titrations, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the table. Molarity. Volume. Then the actual number of moles. And then the ratio. So we're going to create this table. This method is called by first principles. And it just it's better than using the formula because you can actually figure out what you're getting the actual number of moles along the way. The ratio is got from the balanced equation, five there for the Fe, one for the potassium permanganate, MnO4. This is just no number in front of it, so that's presumed to be a 1. Taking the values then from the question that's been given, uh, the potassium permanganate has a molarity of 0 0.01 molar. So 0 0.01 big M, which means moles per liter. Okay, and it tells us that 18.75 centimeters cubed was used. 18.75 centimeters cubed of this potassium permanganate we used. If we want to work out the actual number of moles, the big M 0 0.01, the big M means moles per liter, and a liter has a thousand centimeters cubed. So let's divide by a thousand to find out how many are in one centimeter cubed, and then multiply by 18.75. And you get 1.875 by 10 to the minus 4. Now, when we look at the numbers, the ratios, this is a 1 and this is a 5. So we need to multiply this by 5 to get the actual number of moles that we will require here. And we get 9.375. By 10 to the minus 4. So that's the number of moles that of the iron that we needed to react with that amount of the potassium permanganate. What we're next going to do is look at the question, and again it says that there was 25 centimeters cubed of the iron solution that was used. So what we're going to have to do is because we want to get it back up to a litre. This is the number of moles in 25 centimetres cubed. We could divide by 25 and multiply by 1,000. So if we divide this number by 25, multiply by 1,000, we get 0 0.0375 big M, which is moles per litre. 
And that's the answer to part one. Part one of the question E is 0 0.0375 big M moles per litre. What is the molarity of the iron 2 plus solution? That is the molarity. If we go on to part two, part two looks at, it says the total mass of iron in the 250 centimetres cubed of solution. Now we've just found out that the 0 0.0375 moles per litre of Fe2 plus. We're now looking for the actual number of grams, the mass in grams, the actual total mass of iron in the 250. Now we're going to have to divide by 4 to find the number of moles per 250. And that gives us 9.375 by 10 to the minus 3 moles per 250 centimeters cubed. And what we're then going to do is we're going to multiply by the MR of iron. We're looking at iron here. The MR of iron, Fe, is 56. You will find that in the periodic table. So if we multiply it by 56, we'll get the mass in grams. And we get 0 0.525 grams of Fe2 plus in the 250 centimeters cubed solution. And that's the answer there for part two. That is the total mass of iron in the 250 centimeters cubed of solution. You don't need to worry about the two plus when you're work looking at the MR. It's ionized, but the protons are, or the electrons um, that it has extra or fewer of they don't make any difference to the mass. So the mass is always going to be the same there, the MR. If we go on to part three, part three, the question says, the percentage of mass, sorry, the percentage by mass of iron in the tablets. So we've got 0 0.525 grams of Fe2 plus in 250 centimeters cubed. So that is the mass of iron that we have. And we want to work out the percentage by mass of iron in the tablets. So we've been already told that there's five tablets in the question. So we'll divide by five, 0 0.105 grams of Fe2 plus, that's per tablet. So we were told that there was five tablets, so we're going to divide by five to find out how much iron in one tablet. What we're then going to do is we're going to put that mass, 0 0.105, all over the mass. So this is the mass of iron. all over the mass of the tablet. So the question tells us that each tablet has a mass of 0 0.325 grams. And we're just going to multiply by 100 to get it into a percentage. And we get 32.31%, which is the answer to part three.